This is the Namibia Institute of Pathology. Um, this is the molecular diagnostic uh, lab where we test for the COVID-19. This is Informante Radio, the sound for a new age. Just in terms of the safety, um, in terms of the collection of samples for COVID-19, um, it's very important that uh, safety procedures need to be adhered to at all times by healthcare workers. Um, as part of that, um, we've got an infection control kit, which is basically like a full safety gear uh, that includes a gown, it includes gloves, it includes, it includes a face mask, as well as uh, the goggles. Uh, this is being used uh, predominantly by the healthcare workers when samples are being collected. Um, and it's also being utilized uh, in the laboratory when the actual testing is being conducted. In addition to that, the masks, it's called the N95 mask, that's also being uh, used as part of the safety, uh, what we call the personal protective equipment, PPE. Getting a little bit into the collection of the samples from uh, suspected COVID cases, um, the specimens of choice are basically two types of specimens. Uh, one is being collected from the upper respiratory tract, uh, which is a uh, a swab. Um, this has been collected from the upper respiratory tract and then the swab is being inserted into what we call viral transport media. The second specimen that needs to be collected for the test, this is collected from the lower respiratory tract, it's a sputum sample and it's been collected in a sterile container. Uh, once these samples are being collected, they are being packaged into a small container which uh, conforms to the packaging and transportation of a biological substance category B. Um, this is uh, in short called a triple packaging system. Uh, so it's strictly done in accordance with the uh, guidelines that's being provided by the health, World Health Organization or uh, also abbreviated as WHO. Uh, samples are being packaged in there so it basically has got three containers where it's been inserted into before it's being shipped. Uh, this is basically just to make sure that uh, samples are being transported in such a way that it is safe for those people that are handling the samples. Um, these samples are then shipped from anywhere where a suspected case is being picked up or being uh, identified and then samples are being shipped through to the NIP Vantuk Central Reference Lab where we conduct the testing for the COVID-19 test. Okay, this is the Basta Mix room. Uh, with the PCL, we have three different rooms where we have different activities taking place. The master mix room, this is the cleanest room where we prepare our components for the PCL. You know the PCL has different components. And the, co and the components, they are added into a reaction into different rooms. So in this case, we have the components which are mixed in this plate here. This is the, the PCL plate where we prepare and we put all uh, the components which are added in the master mix room. Uh, since this is the, the room which is clean, here there is no contamination so ever. And that will prepare the components for the PCR before we proceed to the next uh, activity. We have here a sample preparation room. This is where we, whenever we receive our samples, then we do the RNA extraction, we isolate RNA from the virus. Then we have the plate here, which we have come with from the master mix room. Then we add into the component of the PCR before we move to the next activity. As we have come from our, our sample preparation room, we have extracted RNA and we have added in the plate where we are having the PCR component. Now we are heading to the room where amplification and detection will take place. Whenever we can, or come in here, we have an instrument here which is called a light cycler 480. Now we, having, we are having all the components of the PCR or, or, the, or, the, or the PCR in the plate. Now we are going to, play, to put the plate in the machine.
And the moment we put the, uh, the plate in the machine, the machine is connected to the computer, and the computer will monitor the amplification and detection. And the results, which you get from the result of amplification, will be projected on the monitor the, on the computer. The whole process, it takes about two days to finish the process to get to the results. We have one day where we prepare the, uh, the sample, where we isolate the RNA, and we have one day we add the RNA into the PCR component and we do the detection. This is Infomante Radio, the sound for a new age.